Yo, what are you doing, guys? It's your boy, that boy, and you know what the fuck going on. All right, guys, so I totally forgot to add, like, an intro thing to, like, the video. All I said was, you know what the hell going on, but I didn't talk about what I was going to talk about, you know? I just went straight into it, and this is, like, a two days, three days after I recorded all this. So, you know, but your boy here making it. So, we're going to be talking about my setup um how i stream you know what you guys see me stream with and through and yeah the video will speak for it all so you know enjoy all right guys so i thought i should start off with my monitor since this was the first um part of the setup that i got i used to play on a tv it was like a 2010 tv 2012 tv we had that for like ever but then you know once i got a job i was able to buy this because I heard playing on a monitor was way better, which it is, it's really good. And I have the details right here because obviously I'm not gonna know all this stuff right off the top of my head. I don't know why it's popping up. Let me refresh it real quick. The thing, the picture, I don't know. Yeah, see, there you go. Same monitor as you can see, 3D. Um, Asus VG248QE, I don't know what that means. I'm pretty sure that's just the model. 24 inches, Full HD. 1920 by 1080 and it is 144 hertz and it has a very response time of one millisecond and it's, it's really good it's really good honestly guys you know it has 144 hertz so you know obviously it's at, um better than your average you know 60 hertz you know like tv or monitor you know what i'm saying i apologize if that was super long for just a monitor alone if you guys are still here i appreciate you guys i just want to let you guys know like the little the little factors that play into it you know what i'm saying like some um youtubers and youtube videos they don't like let you know that it's not their fault you know it's not like they looked into it that deep you know but there's you know there's always those small cases that are like never talked about you know what i'm saying even when you got like, even when you search it up on reddit you know the actual site you know youtube channels all those stuff they never say the law they never like help you explain the problem that you have you know specifically like they always have similar stuff, but it's not it's not the same. Boom, details. We got my monitor in a monitor. So this is the monitor I got. It was a Samsung Rada Rada 23.5 inch LED monitor, high glossy black. I actually got mine for like 120 at Best Buy. Uh, this one is a lot cheaper than this one just because this one isn't a gaming monitor. So it could be literally cheap, especially if you're gonna stream, you know what I'm saying? Play on this one super expensive million dollars and then this one literally could be a dollar or free if you got it from like like i don't know in a trash can literally it could be so cheap because all this one is is to look at your stuff you see how i have all my stuff right there um this is to play this is to fucking like do whatever you know what i'm saying there's also a catch with this monitor too this monitor right here this monitor right here you know the you know the thing that it can't do it can't fucking produce sound because it literally has no speakers. It literally has no speakers, chat. I remember when I first bought it and I was like, all right, I'm gonna go watch like a YouTube video or something while I like play games, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I was playing games and then I'm like, what the fuck? I'm not hearing anything. Had my audio on, made sure it was on the monitor that it said like Samsung, whatever, whatever it was, because you could like change what is producing the sound that you're hearing. And I put it to the monitor and nothing was coming out. It would only come out through the headset. So I was like, oh, okay, that's weird. And then I searched it up and I got scared because I was like, fuck, dude, is it broken? And then I searched it up and then it was like, oh, yeah, this monitor is good. But it can't produce sound because it literally doesn't have any speakers. And I was like. Yeah, so uh, that's the bad thing about this monitor. But like I said, it doesn't really matter because I use my headset. Oh, fuck. Let me cover it. I use my headset anyway to hear stuff. So um, not necessarily a big deal, but yeah, that, that's what sucks about it. All right, guys, the next thing I have right here is my blue microphone Yeti. As you can see, exactly the same as the one you see behind there. I got it at Best Buy and it was, yeah, it was $130. I think it was expensive as shit. And it sucked because around the time I wanted to start streaming and stuff, like get all this professional setup, literally there was no microphones at all. Because it was like the start of Corona. It was like April or something. So, you know, obviously everybody was like, you know what? Streaming time. Let me buy a fucking expensive microphone for no reason. You know what I'm saying? And they left me 
without a microphone for like two months. So I had to stream through my PlayStation. So, boom, here it is now. I use this all the time when I stream. Um, it's pretty nice. Sounds really good. No problems with it, to be honest. It, it's fine. I'm not a, a microphone technician or, or professor, prof, professional. So I can't really tell you what's good or what's bad about it. But it does have all these like setups. You can see you got the gain. And then you have all these type of patterns. So this one, I use this one just because uh, I don't have to be far away or close to it. I could be like right here, um, like like a foot away. And, you know, it doesn't sound like I'm super close. And it doesn't sound like I'm super far away. Some of these do that. And some of these pick up noise from like across the state. So, you know, you want to set it to whatever you please. But yeah, it's really good. That, that, and that's all I can say about it. 130 at Best Buy. You can't beat that. Real quick, I got this headset on Amazon for like 30 bucks. No, yeah, this was actually supposed to be 60 bucks, but then it was like on sale for like 25, 30 bucks. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. $60 headset sounds expensive, so I'm gonna buy it for cheaper when it's on sale. Boom. And it, it works pretty good. This is what I started off with when I played on my PlayStation 4. So you got my uh, PC right there next to the PlayStation 5. I'll get to that soon. As you can see, it looks exactly the same. Look at that. And that was just coincidental because I got the PC first and then the PlayStation 5 was like, you know, they released what it was going to look like a couple months after. So that's what it looks like right there. Boom. As you can see, it's all glossy black right here. And then like plastic looks like a folder. The white right there. Boom. We got the model right here. So it was the Alienware Aurora Ryzen Edition R10 gaming desktop. And I did buy it for like about a thousand... 80 or so it was like a thousand 120 because i told my brother use this code to get like 50 dollars off and then he responded to me like two days later he was like oh it's 100 200 it's like a thousand two hundred now and i was like bro you're supposed to use the code so it could be so much cheaper because i think it covered the shipping or something like that or the tax no it would never cover the tax it was something like that but yeah um i got it for like a thousand because uh, I didn't want to spend too much on a PC just because I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give myself time to start and if I ever like make it eventually That's when I'll get like a million dollar PC. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to go crazy on the PC It's whatever works for you guys, honestly, and I got the cheapest thing Don't let people tell you all oh, the stats and this and that like it, it works fine trust guys You don't don't let people bully you into buying a fucking five thousand dollar pc just because they got a ten thousand dollar one all right see i'm just gonna link this because i don't know how to explain any of this i'm pretty sure you guys are some technicians review on the pc uh it's really good um uh, i think i think i started noticing that it's just a little bit slow i don't know if it's because uh maybe i'm letting the dust collect inside the fan or like just because you know it is the cheapest pc it still works fine don't get me wrong it still works fine but you know now that i started adding all these like obs spotify and um my game capture card you know having those open all simultaneously at the same time um maybe that's what makes it kind of go slow but it's not like super super slow but you know i remember when i first had it it was a little bit faster but you know it's not a big deal um it still works fine like i said um but yeah i mean it, you know, you can't go wrong with a $1,000 PC. Like I said, I wanted to start off, give myself a chance to, you know, grow. And then when I buy a million dollar PC, that's because I made it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to start off with a million dollar PC because I don't got a million dollars. And yes, yeah, that's literally why. So, you know, if you guys do plan on getting this, don't be ashamed to buy a pre-built PC that's like $1,000. Because literally everybody tells you, it's way easy. Just search up YouTube video. Boom, 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 boom. Stack it like fucking Legos. Like, yes, I know I understand it's easy, but, you know, I'm not made out of money. And even if I, like, break up a tiny piece of, like, a, a fucking chip that I got from Amazon, you know, that could probably mess up the whole PC, you know. Plus, sometimes you, you got you to gotta set up the whole thing. You got to set up the whole, like, system and stuff. It's just, it takes too much, to be honest. So, don't be ashamed to buy a pre-owned BC, BC pre-built pc hope that you guys been waiting for the playstation 5 thick edition Sheesh. you got the i got the uh, disc edition one just because i was like you know what if i'm gonna spend like 400 bucks i might as well spend another 100 bucks to get the disc version just in case you know for birthdays christmas 
They're like, oh, Eric, I know you got a PlayStation 5. Here's a disc game. You know what I'm saying? And then I could play it. If I didn't have one, I'd be like, oh, thanks. I can't play it. You know what I'm saying? Awkward. But yeah, um, here we, got, here we are. Got the PlayStation 5. You guys already know all about this. I don't really know how to explain what it is. The reason why I have PC and console is because, one... If I play it like a Modern Warfare, like the games I play on my PlayStation, if I play it on this, it's not going to be able to catch up just because it's super cheap and it's like not really, it's a gaming mod, it's a gaming PC, but it's not built for it pretty much. So that's when it, that's when stuff like that starts coming into play, you know what I'm saying? But since I, I'm only using like Spotify and like the audio stuff and to record, it's fine. This is what I play my games on, all the games where I stream Modern Warfare south park spider-man zelda you know or not zelda stream zelda on this but all that stuff as you can see storage extender and ethernet cable boom i almost forgot to talk about the elgato that i just brought up earlier so the elgato i have is the the hd60 pro which was like $250, this thing was madly, no, it was $200, actually, it's normally $250 on the Elgato site, but at Best Buy, I got it for $195.47, which is pretty nice, so yeah, it's the Elgato Game Capture HD 60 Pro Black, I'm gonna flip the camera, so I can show you guys the, the details, so it's actually cheaper now, which is fucking ridiculous, I bought this for $200, bucks. why is it $150 now, that's, that's fucked, bro, come on, but as you can see, boom, right here, I'll link the stuff. The reason why I got this one is because um, the other one looks kind of weird, to be honest. And there's nothing wrong with that, to be honest, not because it looks weird. But it's just like, uh, so this one right here, it was actually the same price. As you can see, this is like the one under it. As you can see, it's $149. And then this one is $150. You know what I'm saying? So this one's a tad bit better, so you might as well get this one. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, before it was $150 right here. This one was actually, yes, 180 and the other one was like 190 So I was like, you know what, for 10 bucks more, 15 bucks more, I'll be able to get one that's like, I don't know, twice as good or something. I don't know how much better it is, but it's better. So I got the better one for 10, 15 bucks more. So that's the reason why I got it. I was so close to buying the other one, but this one works. And I would say only get this if you have a PC, because obviously this is not going to fit like this one. This one, all you need is like two HDMI's or three HDMI's and that's it. This one, you need to connect it to your PC. So if you don't have a PC, do not get this one. Watch a YouTube video on how to put it in. I was scared to put it in my first time, hope, pause. But you know, I went through and it stayed in there and it works. Next thing we have on the list is my webcam, you know, cause I'm a cam girl, 4K camera, you know what I'm saying? Just kidding. Um, here we are, we got the details right here. Next, next ski go 1080p 60 frames per second. The reason why I got this one is because I used to have a 1080 30 frames per second camera, and I don't know if it's because I have all these wires, they're literally like bundled up everywhere. But I have all these wires connected to this one, you know, port. And whenever I would turn on my fan, I had a little portable fan, it would take up so much electricity. So every time I turned it on, my camera would literally freeze, and I think I short circuited it by turning it on and off. Because literally my my uh, monitor will also turn off, but good thing it didn't mess up. But yeah, my camera couldn't make it. So here's this one. Details are right here. 1080, 60 frames per second, really good. I think I did buy it for a hundred bucks. So, um, you know, it was kind of tough, but I mean, to be honest, cameras, uh, you want them to last long. Um, so I got one that was like a hundred bucks. The other one was 60 bucks, which was a little low, you know, but then again, I didn't know. Like I said, guys, it's my first time. But after finding out that that one short-circuited, I decided to get this one. 100 bucks. Had it since December, like, 26. And it's still good. I bought warranty this time. So if it does short-circuit, I could just, like, send it back or something. And I'll get a new one for free. So, yeah. Really good. I'll link this. So, as you can see, the camera right there, it lights up red or orange, whichever one it is. Pretty sure it's red. Um, lights up. That's how you know it's on. You can see. You could adjust the, obviously you could adjust the light depending on where, you, where your room is. But yeah, um, that's how it looks. Obviously it's gonna look, you know, different from me looking at it in person while you guys are looking at it through a camera. You're looking at a camera quality through a camera. So, you know, let me know how it looks for you guys. I like it to be honest for a hundred bucks. 
It, it looks really good. Trust, guys. Trust it. And then finally, we have the ring light, which I got for Christmas. Sorry, guys. I can't link this. I don't know where I got it. Um, I threw away the box. So I'm sorry that I didn't, you know, think about it. But here we are. I got it for Christmas. My brother got it. Um, and it works fine, as you can see. Have it connected to my PC. This is it right here. You know, you turn it on. Boom. Bright as hell. It's nice. Bright light, natural. Turn it up. You can turn it down. Boom. Intensity. You get to switch the color. So from natural to like yellow light to blue light, I'm assuming. And not necessarily blue, but it's, you know, a little less intense than this one. I got my gaming chair right there. My gaming chair. You know, I just, I don't even know where I, where we got this, to be honest. It was just inside the house and boom, I got it. I like, I like guys. Um, I also have this. This is my PlayStation 5 headset, 3D audio. Pulse, I think it's called 3D Pulse Audio, 3D Pulse Headset. I think that's just what it's called. Just search up PlayStation 5 headset and this will literally pop up. 100 bucks, really good, honestly. It was meant for the PlayStation 5. Um, you know, I, I went from this $30 headset, which was like, okay, mic was okay, to, you know, $100, you know, perfect. I, I don't, I don't know if it's professional, honestly. I don't have like a $300 headset or something. I never had one. So I don't know, honestly, but uh, me and my friend have this. We both have PlayStation 5s, and me and him really like these. They're comfortable, um, but me, my ears get sore after like having on having these on for like fucking four hours, five hours. Maybe because I got big ears, I don't know. But um, comfortable, um, really good at audio, especially for Modern Warfare. I can hear like everybody. I can hear everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this setup tour. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed it in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, please. We're at 80 subscribers, and we need 20 more to reach 100 subs. And that's the next milestone to hit triple-digit subs. And we literally just hit our milestone chat. Damn, I keep saying chat like if you guys are my Twitch chat. You guys are my boys. You guys are my, you guys are my family, all right? So, um, we hit 1,000 video. <laughs> Fuck, I can't think straight no more. We hit 1,000 views on our, um, I have Monessa syndrome or something like that, uh, skit. We had 1,000 views in a month. And that was pretty fast for me because I haven't hit, normally I average like 20 to like 100 views on a YouTube video. And for me to hit 1,000 in a month, and I've been uh, doing the YouTube thing for like eight months, almost a year, um, I never seen it that fast. And I don't know why that video decided to blow up, but thank you guys so much. It honestly meant a lot to me. And this is the reason why I keep doing it because I keep seeing stuff like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I'll probably make another video on the OBS stuff because I also had a hard time on that. And yeah, let me know in the comment section if you guys want that. And yeah, we're out of here. So good luck on your setups and let me know if you guys need help on anything else. I got you. Double up. And one last thing. I keep saying one last thing, guys, but promise this is the last thing. Um, the last thing I was going to say is this, I bought this all entirely myself. All this you see right there. The monitor, the monitor, the headset, the headset, the microphone, the camera, the light, the, the PlayStation 5, the PC, and the capture card. I bought all that myself, guys. I, I literally worked so hard for this. Um, I didn't realize I was going to go this crazy with the setup. I remember just streaming from my PlayStation 4 and my big, um, uh, what do you call it? My big TV. And, you know, I was lagging, but my friends were there supporting me. And, I mean, now I still get, like, three, four, three, five viewers, you know what I'm saying? Which is still good. Honestly, I, I appreciate it. But, you know, um, it's not about the setup. It's just about, like, the character and stuff. You got to see through, you know, like, where I started versus where you guys are starting, you know what I'm saying? Like, just because I'm here and you guys are barely starting doesn't mean my shit's better. You know, that's just that's just how it is, you know what I'm saying? So don't get discouraged that... Mine is a little bit, you know, more expensive, you know, than others. You know, if your monitor is like a little bit cheaper or you have like a PlayStation 3 or something. Like, it doesn't matter, honestly. It doesn't matter. As long as you guys, you know, have the character and, you know, the courage to like do all this YouTube and Twitch stuff. You guys got it, alright? So don't, don't be discouraged by numbers and by how big the setup is. Literally, it's all the hard work that I put into this working at my fast food restaurant job. 
and you know i'm grateful for it because now i could you know just have fun and make these videos and um stream so thank you guys so much and you guys are the reason why I, you know i got to this point thank you guys so much and outro time